All right, so today we're talking about reviewing the elements of plot. So if you go onto your haiku and click on review the elements of plot, you'll see this is what pops up. So I want you to define these for me when you get in there. You'll see that exposition, conflict, climax, falling action, and the denouement. Denouement is just French for resolution or the end, okay? So tonight when you do this, go in, give me a definition to all of these, where you can find that on the World Wide Web, you can look it up, you can do, well, however you do that, put down what you think it is. Don't use someone else's, put it in your own words. So even if you look up the definition, don't copy the definition, but put, those, put that definition into your own words, put it here, and hand it in. Another way of looking at it is you can go to what we call um, the plot sheet, and this is the plot diagram, this is what it looks like. You have the exposition, you have the conflict, the climax, the falling action, and again, the denouement. Now, be careful. In the exposition, it's a couple of parts. The first, you'll see, is setting, okay? And the second are characters. So it's not just exposition alone, and it doesn't mean introduction to the story. Okay, the exposition introduces setting and it introduces characters. And we're going to look in the coming days and coming weeks, we're going to look at setting and characters a lot closer than just this. But remember, when you're looking at exposition, it includes setting and characters. The conflict is the rising action. That's the, the problem in the story. And again, you'll find a definition for that. The climax is the highest point of the story, and again, we will look more closely at each of these elements. The falling action are the consequences, the immediate consequences of the climax, and then the resolution. We'll take a closer look at all these elements in the days and weeks to come.